Howdy all, it's Cody from the Keepers Nerdum. How you doing? So let's let's talk Lego Fortnite. If you've watched one of my previous videos, you may have seen the footage already, but I think it was too good not to reuse. And also I realized after playing the Lego Fortnite that I think there is more to just talk about there. Uh, so thoughts, right? The hope was initially when seeing Lego Fortnite that, wow, we're gonna actually have Lego Fortnite, you know, Battle Royale. And what we really got was Lego Fortnite that's really more like Save the World. And it's a survival mode. And, you know, Save the World's like little missions and stuff, but this is like the full on just survival mode or sandbox where you just build and have fun. Um, it's, it's an interesting concept that I really think what's going on here is one of two things. One, uh, I think Lego may have been, okay, we're willing to let you do a survival mode and certain weapons are allowed to be used and things like that. So that way they don't get too violent as far as that's the purpose of it and you're fighting more creatures and critters and things in the world. Although that even in this Lego Fortnite survival thing, there are bandits and raiders that are, you know, human Legos. So you do fight against those and they do have weapons. So kind of weird, kind of interesting. Like that, that concept is good. So I guess the other second thing is maybe this is a proof of concept for now and will turn into later the idea, the full on idea of, okay, we've proven that it can work and we have the functionality in here. Now we bring it to the full. Let's actually bring this up to functional and let them actually run with it in a battle royale. And maybe that's what they're getting installed, like all the different pieces to the, the game. And this was where they had gotten to and went, okay, we can do the survival mode, but we can't quite do battle royale yet because one of the things you can't build or do very quickly is build quickly. It's, it's just not in there yet, but and maybe they're adding also other skins. Like that's the interesting thing because there's a limited amount of skins and in a survival thing where it's you versus the, the, the game with friends that can help, there's more customization. There, there's less customization that's needed right then because then you can just select the skin. And right now we don't even have the randomization. And so they have limited skins on that as well. But the Lego skins, side note, like they're amazing. They, they look really good. Very good stuff there. Nothing, nothing to complain about at all. It's a lot of fun, the ones that are already updated into Lego versions. Some of them don't quite match up, I guess, in a way. Uh, the AIM bot skin and a few others is kind of interesting, their rendition of a Lego, but I think that's also just the beauty of Lego is sometimes they have to go, all right, the Lego body is designed in a certain way. My favorite thing to laugh at is whenever they're like, okay, we want a feminine form Lego and yet a Lego body is just very, you know, blocky up and down, but yet they'll add like hip kind of creases onto the body, like with the printing. So that way it kind of gives the illusion of a different body shape, even though it's still just the, the blocky straight up and down or, you know, slightly slanted sideways. It's just a funny thing concept wise that they do with Lego. But I think once they add more skins, we may very well see Fortnite, uh, battle royale and I, I think that would really be the good thing because i think you know having a game where you're actually blasting at each other with lego weaponry you know and it's just the little like stud shooters and stuff so much fun even if it was only like four or five weapons that we had it would just people would love it because i think this could take roblox off the map really fast uh the actual survival thing uh here's my thoughts on it it's <sighs> On the surface, it looks and feels and plays really well. When you get, when you pay attention for about 30 minutes or so, and you can kind of see in some of the gameplay some pieces of that, you start realizing that there are some cracks in it. And the cracks are really simple stuff. Like, they just don't know how to explain things very well to you, like where certain things are. And maybe I just haven't found the explanation because Cuddle Team Leader, she explains some things to you, but not everything. And she's, she's quite interestingly frustrating at times because she'll give you some very basic things of like, go, go find that. But like right now, unless I look up a walkthrough, I don't know exactly where marble is. I don't know. Hardened wood, I found an actual description somewhere in one of the things that said, oh, it's from caves. Okay, thank you. That gives me something to go look for. Uh, it, it, 
the game is just at the beginning really easily you just collect some wood collect some granite go and explore learn for yourself that's fine which is good i love games like that where you learn for yourself but then when you need a certain item and you don't know and it's supposed to be a simpler game like this and you can't find it and there's no good explanation that i found of where it is and maybe there is there's like a help somewhere and it's all of a sudden like oh yeah it's just oh they're over here well that, that gets a little frustrating so let me know down in the comments below if there's actually something somewhere that just does tell you like no it's it's right there not a big deal uh, yeah um just just an interesting it's an interesting game concept the building is very slow and it's one of those that with any uh you know even terraria has this but it's to a lesser extent because it's a two-dimensional look to it you know with some slight 3d to it that even in there it's sometimes hard because you may accidentally place a block too far up or down and cause an issue with your buildings and whatnot but once you enter into the 3D, it's really hard because you're, you've got several different dimensions that you're playing with. And sometimes you can't see the perspective wise of where things are at. Uh, very important piece to that. And the building, you know, there's some prefab stuff, which is really easy to work with and honestly better to work with because it just goes, you need to build this here. So much easier. But if you want to be creative and build something beautiful and interesting, you build different one of the interesting things that the game didn't seem to tell me that I was found fascinating as I was building and trying to figure out the customization because I, I needed a bigger building to fit stuff in because it, it told you, but yet it didn't tell you. You'd go to use your, your workshop benches and then it would be like, can't use in the rain. And so your logic goes, so can I use it in the rain if it's not raining inside, right? Like the, the logic of if it's indoors, can it be used? And the answer is yes. So you have to build a building around your you know, or put a building up first and then put your uh, construction area inside that so you can always use it. Because if it's just outdoors, you just can't. It's just very interesting because that that's a mindset that you have to get used to. Of like, oh, I have to have shelters up, not just for people, but also for my crafting benches. Because if there's rain, then all of a sudden I can't use it outside. Very interesting little feature. Like, okay, forces you to actually go, no, there is a purpose for putting them in a building. And I do appreciate that, but it also is like, what an interesting logic thing that didn't, it explained it in a way by saying you can't use in the rain, but they didn't actually like have an explanation in game in a way. It just had that, that one, I don't know how best to explain that one. It's so weird. So yeah, uh, weird there. Uh, travel is a little slower the the world doesn't seem that big but yet it feels massive because you just don't move very quickly and once you get a little further into the uh, crafting you start realizing you have nothing and you won't get any of that stuff for a long time it's it's kind of frustrating because i don't know i i just i wish it would uh address that better because it's it's just hard to find certain things and not knowing exactly where they are without having to look them up separately from the game it's just frustrating in a game that's supposed to be you know for kids for teens that kind of deal it's it's not it's not supposed to be real complicated and yet it is and they I, I think over time it'll get better as they they give more explanations on what things do and where things are at it will really help the game as a whole. And I just really do hope that this is proof of concept more so than anything and will lead to Fortnite Lego Battle Royale because I think that would be a huge win because the Lego uh, minifigures as your, your characters are fantastic. They're so fun, especially like the ones that they've already updated and you can use. And it's funny because so some of them, you can use some of the, some, uh, not, not Marvel, uh, no, there's there's one or two Marvels, and then like Star Wars, you can use the Stormtrooper Lego. Very interesting. It's almost like they, they had to go, okay, is there already a license here for you to use? Okay, then we can use that. But Marvel, uh, there's a limited supply of them. It's really interesting. I can't remember which ones I had seen that already had skins, but it was... it was No, Green Goblin was one of them, I think. It was very bizarre. Um yeah, the, the skin choices are 
interesting. It's almost like they're going to be adding pretty fast as all, if at all possible, because this is a, this is a pretty big collaborative effort here. And I think this is the one thing that they, they really could have led off of from the OG. And if they really get the Lego battle Royale up soon or do it at all, I think that will be a huge, huge win. So what do you think about Lego Fortnite? Uh, what do you hope for it? What do you think of the, the survival mode so far and the sandbox mode? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for joining me. Take care.